Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Comedia back with another Dokkan battle video. So with 10 new super bad road stages, roughly about four to five days away from dropping on both Global and JP, I thought it'd be kind of fun to test my hand at predicting what the categories for each of these new stages is gonna be. And let me just be clear that there is no guarantee I will be correct in any way. In fact, I could be wrong on like every single account except for the ones that are confirmed, of course. So this video really is just for fun. I thought it'd be kind of interesting to put this video out there right now so that once the category stages actually come out, uh, I can see how many of them I got right or wrong. And of course, if you guys have predictions as well, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your opinions. And for some of these predictions, I do have my reasoning. There's actually some justification why for others, it's just because I feel like it or like I like those categories and I want them to be stages. So uh, with all that out of the way guys, let's jump into it. So there are three confirmed stages already officially from Bandai that we'll just get out of the way. The first one is Universe Survival Saga. The second one is Super Saiyan 3. And the third one is Giant Form. So those three categories have already been officially confirmed by Bandai to be upcoming Super Battle Road stages. So we're not going to focus on them too much. But moving on now to my personal predictions. I think stages 4 and 5 are going to be Goku's family and Vegeta's family respectively. Now as far as Goku's family goes, I think this one makes a ton of sense and is highly likely mainly because of the upcoming LR Gohan for the Duel Dokkan Fest. And of course Gohan is part of the Goku's family category and with such a significant addition to the category, I just feel like it makes sense. I think it's going to happen and there's also the fact that with the previous set of Super Battle Road stages, it seems like Bandai likes to include categories that were featured in major celebrations. Just look at Fusions and Shadow Dragons. Uh, that was the Duel Dokkan Fest for the 200 million download celebration, right? With Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Physical Mega Shenron. And there's also, of course, Fusion and Patara. I know I said Fusion twice, but you know, third year anniversary, Fusion and Patara were the two featured categories there. So since the four year anniversary was Goku's family and Vegeta's family, I think Goku's family makes sense. And of course, if they're gonna include Goku's family, they gotta include Vegeta's family, man. They can't shaft with Vegeta that hard once again. So I think these two make a lot of sense and that's four and five. Moving on now to number six, we have Androids. And Androids is here, of course, because of the upcoming LR Perfect Cell. So, you know, same reasoning as I used for the LR Gohan, since LR Cell is such a major addition to the category, and it's also coming around at the same time, I think including Androids here would also make a lot of sense. And uh, Androids actually is uniquely, I, I think the category is uniquely fit for Super Battle Road since it has so many great tanks in there, and uh, it'd be a lot of fun to run. So there's also the fact that I just like this category a lot. I think that um, it'd be a good challenge, but also there's a lot of good units to run for this particular kind of event. So uh, I personally would really love to see androids. So make it happen, Bandai. Just, just make it happen. Okay, next up for number seven now is movie bosses and movie heroes. And once again, for, I mean, it's basically the same reasoning as before where I feel like Bandai likes including categories that were featured in major celebrations and of course movie bosses and movie heroes were the two featured two big celebrations, no sorry, two big categories for the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie category. Uh, what am I saying? Stu Dragon Ball Super Broly celebration, right? And uh, they also like the parallels too, right? Fusions, Batara, and so on and so forth. So if they're, if they're gonna include one of them, they gotta include both of them. So I'm gonna say movie bosses and movie heroes are both in there. And next up is Pure Saiyans. And Pure Saiyans is here purely because it's the biggest category. I think that's still true. I'm 90% sure that's still true. Pure Saiyans is the biggest category in the game. And for that reason alone, it's gotta be there, man. I mean, Hybrid Saiyans got a category or got a stage already. And if Hybrid Saiyans can get a category or a stage, then Pure Saiyans should get a stage as well. It just 
it just makes sense to me. And once again, I love the category. I love how versatile it is. There's obviously huge potential for building very unique and versatile teams. And I'm super interested to see what people can come up with as far as teams that can clear the stage with different units, right? So for those reasons, I feel like Pure Saiyans should be there and I would love to see it. And I think we're at the last one now. This is number nine, I believe. And for the last one, I think it's gonna be a bit of a unexpected one or a bit of a random one, just like Peppy Gals was for the last round of stages. And I personally think that the surprise stage will be Ginyu Force. <laughs> and I know this is super, super random, and uh, it's not a very big or versatile category at all. It's basically the opposite of Pure Saiyans, where Pure Saiyans just had a stupid number of units. This one has like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight total units in this category. But I think it'd be kind of cool actually for them to put in this category, uh, or rather the stage, where people can just clear it if they actually put in the work to farm the units. So basically anybody that farms the Ginyu Force units and gets, gets them all done, gets them all rainbowed, can clear the stage and have at least one free Super Battle stage. Like it's, it can still be challenging. It can still have uh, you know, a lot of RNG components to it, right? Like, just because you have everyone rainbowed doesn't mean you can clear it every single time. There's still gonna be a lot of um, factors in there, like how many times you get supered, how well you form your rotations, uh, who you attack first, and so on and so forth, which items you bring, and all those things. But I like the idea of having one stage out there that pretty much anyone can beat if they put in the work. So. I'm predicting Ginyu Force as the 10th and final stage. I think that was 10, I even, I'm not even sure. Okay, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 10 in total. So there you go, guys. Those are my predictions for the upcoming stages. Three of them are already set, but the final seven are still completely open right now. And those were my predictions. Let me know in the comments down below whether or not you agree with me. And if not, then what are your predictions? We still got four to five days before they officially drop. So there's plenty of time for speculation and guesses. And uh, yeah, let me know. So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you guys found it fun in some way. And if you liked the video, as always, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's it guys, I'm out of here. I will see you very soon in the next video. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.